So a kid goes home and they get on their computer or their laptop and they play Minecraft and they build something in a virtual setting. Or they go home and they're submersed into the 2D world of, a, of television or Netflix or whatever it is. By thinking differently and teaching differently, we can engage this new generation of students in a different way. So let's bring that into the classroom. This can be many different things. So it can be like that, hook it on, then Abby, turn it on. And it just goes down. And if you pull turn it up, it goes up. This, it pulls up and down. And then like that one over there is supposed to have a propeller. And that and one, one is like a kind of Lego thing. Like, you can push it forward or push it. It's kind of like a race car. But like for video games. As soon as they sat down, they were totally engaged, just playing with all the new technology. We're one of only two smart labs in the area. We have 3D printers, CNC milling machines. We've got a pad caster that allows students to do video and audio production. We've got pneumatics, architecture kits. We've got bridge building, both the software to design it 3D and also the structures to actually build it in real life. Drones, we've got multiple robots. All of the robots are codable. We've got apps where they can design their own video games. We've got apps where they can design their own apps. All of the Adobe uh, suite, um, all kinds of drawing tools for our artists. They can design completely new inventions. They can look at the sky pretty much at any time and actual satellites around the world. We've got all kinds of scientific probes and sensors. It's temperature, motion, speed. We even have a machine that'll allow you to measure the particulates in the air and measure air quality. We've got GoPros with gyroscopes. We've got a 360 satellite GoPro. You can mix and create your own music. We have a whole team that is working on producing uh, FACS News. Uh, learn how to be in front of the camera as well as behind the camera and do all of the editing and processing. We're actually starting FACS News. The news from our school, news from the world, whatever upcoming events. Um, right now we're working on the intro. So we are putting all the videos that we made yesterday together and it's just videos of our team right now. And so this intro is going to go with every video that we have each week. And so we're just trying to get that down because that's a good start. We have different students who are talented in different areas and they become an expert and then they can teach other students. We as human beings are creative just like our creator. God is the creator of all things and we are created in his image. So we take that biblical worldview and we allow students to explore that creative side. We're making a maze for a little mouse. This is it will spark a passion for learning and it will spark their curiosity and they will be more engaged. All of their curriculum comes to life and a, a deeper love for learning is, is sparked. They feel comfortable and they are having fun as they're learning. There's a sense of ownership and, and pride in their work. The way the Smart Lab works is you actually have a technology that you explore and then you have to make a plan. So you're completely in control of your learning. We say it's specific, it's measurable, it's applicable, realistic. After they're done with planning, they carry it out. Once they carry it out, they reflect. The facilitator may know exactly the best way to solve the problem, but they want the child to investigate and explore and, and let their curiosity dry and see the reason for it behind it and give them the ability to be able to choose what they do with that content. Gone are the days of here's a lecture, here are PowerPoint slides, take the notes and let's take the test. And a lot of students, that's not the way they work. They disengage because they, they think they're, they're not smart. They think that they can't because that's the only way you're asking them to show what they know. They come into the smart lab and they are able, they are good enough and they are worth something. I'm doing behind the scenes. <laughs> I'll be working on sound and like music and microphones and stuff like that. This generation of learners has so much input coming at them from all different directions and we want to be intentional and meet them where they are 
and, and grow their love for learning. They're going to leave here with skills that are, are usable, hireable, uh, straight out of FACS. You actually have the tools you need to, to build real-life solutions to real-life problems.